What's up, guys? Welcome to Top Speed 717. Here I am in beautiful Homosassa, Florida for vacation for the week. Um, well, it's about the storm here, but it's Florida. Um, so this is part four of the Acura NSX project. Um, part five was supposed to be the final product. I got to hurry up and get this done and get inside. So um, don't be afraid to leave any comments letting us know what you guys think. Please like and subscribe. Please continue to follow along for any projects that we may be getting into in the future. Um, comment any recommendations that you guys want to potentially see on the channel. I had a couple people comment about a timestamp that was on one of our videos that was set that said like 2018 was the date. Um, it's all current footage. Uh, it was just, you know, it was just an unset time or date. Uh, that was on one of the GoPros. So, um, yeah, it wasn't old footage or anything like that. So it's all current footage. It might be a couple weeks ago or something, depending on how much we record and then how much I can chop up into like 15 minute videos. So, um, so yeah, watch the video. Enjoy. Let us know what you guys think later. All right, everybody. Here we are again. Got the vinyl die ready. To keep moving forward with this car run. So hopefully I don't rush through everything and just try to get her driving on the street. But like I said, I, I'm, I'm going to go tear some other wheels off some other cars, see if we find something that fits a little better. Um, I do want to get the die wrapped up too because it's getting cold out. Let me check the weather here. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's 71 degrees. Yeah, I don't know. Prime time for dying this stuff. So we'll be all right. So just wanted to show you some more of this. So you can do it yourself. Now I do sometimes put about two coats on. The only reason I don't like to put too many coats on of this stuff is because if you put too many coats on, your carpet starts feeling like cardboard. So I generally like to just go one direction this way and then one direction this way just call it a day <clears throat> now obviously i would be doing a lot better if i wasn't holding this camera and like i said this isn't this will last for a couple years but it's not going to last forever so if you do screw up a little bit like if i hit that end a little bit not the end of the world because it'll probably need redone anyway in another year or so that also depends on if the car is going to be sitting outside, if it's going to be sitting inside, obviously, how much the sun's hitting and stuff like that. So uh, I'd assume it being new to me for the first couple of months, it won't be a garage queen at first. Um, we'll get it detailed up and stuff like that. Hopefully get to go to some shows, go to some cars and coffees, you know, stuff like that. But for the most part, she will be driven more than a car that someone just buys to be a trailer queen, obviously. Like I said, stuff's only about seven bucks a can, so well worth it. There she is. And here's the other one. This one wasn't as bad for some reason. I'm gonna vacuum this back up again before it gets dodd. Here you guys go, here's a better look at the carpet. Got her all done. She looks a million times better. Oh, walk over there. Might let it dry and you know, maybe before I put the seats back in it, double check everything. Make sure she is good to go, but she looks pretty good. We got some seats for the Project NSX. And uh, <clears throat> today we're gonna dye them. This is, I don't know if the seats are always black or if they're already dyed or they used to be tan or that's just leather coming through. Don't know, don't care. But uh, yeah, I clean them up pretty good but they're still kinda, still filthy looking for some reason. We're just gonna dye them with the Dupla color vinyl and fabric dye. Like I said, I have no affiliation with them whatsoever. 
just works for me, so if there's something else that works better for you, let me know. Right now, I'm, sp I'm spraying on some uh, uh, Bully Dog, Bulldog Adhesive Promoter. I don't know if it's a necessary step. It's probably not. I have some left over from a project I had did years ago. And this shit stinks. So, normally I would be wearing a little mask, but since it makes it hard to talk on the camera and wear a little respirator, I'm not right now. I'm just using my shirt in between sentences. So you're supposed to spray this on. Wipe it all on here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the rougher areas first. Just so there's a couple coats on there. You want to do nice even coats and blend it out wherever you stop spraying. Oh, yeah. Guys, here she is. She's uh, all done, all dyed up. I'm gonna let her dry a little bit. Maybe uh, touch up some spots, whatnot. But she's looking fantastic. Here's the old seat. Looking like that. We're gonna get some parts for tomorrow. Get a part for tomorrow, I should say. Hopefully that fixes it. And uh, yeah, whether the part actually comes in tomorrow or not, don't know, highly doubt it. So, one thing's for sure, the wheel should be here, seats should be finished and ready to roll. Uh, I got them from somebody that had them in a Honda, so unfortunately they had all of the wires cut for the power seats and for the seatbelt light and all that stuff, so that plug had to be fixed and had to be resoldered back on and everything like that. And I have the exhaust on its way too, so I should get some footage of her driving by though. Once we get that VTEC and everything fixed, or why why it's hitting the limiter at 7200 or whatever. All right, so we got the new part on the car. We're hoping that she's gonna not have that limiter at 7200 RPMs. Won't know yet until we drive her. But right now, I want to show you something else that I'm super pumped up about. So we took it for a drive. As you can see, no more rust on the rotors and stuff like that. We still gotta pull that other rotor up front, pull the wheel, check the caliper, make sure she's not hanging up, she might be. What I really wanna show you guys today, and I wanted to get out here soon before it's too dark out to see, but we got something today. It's raining out a little bit, so we're probably not gonna take the car out for a drive, but here we go. The new wheels for her. Pretty pumped up about these. They came off another NSX, eight and a half in the front, 10 and a half in the rear, something like that. Um, super clean looking wheel, uh, low mileage car. Tires like brand new on them pretty much. So that's pretty good. Can't really see that, I understand that. But yeah, pretty sweet. Not uh, you know, not exactly what I would have picked if I was buying brand new wheels. Uh, wheels, the tires are a little narrow in the back, but I saw pictures of the car, fits awesome, looks awesome. It pretty much sat the same as ours, so we'll see how they look on there, but there they are. As we're cleaning up in here a little bit, found the oil filter and Mark wiped it off. It's an original Honda filter, as you can see. And she's pretty dirty. So I don't know who would neglect a car like this, but we're here to save her. We got the wheels bolted up. Uh, look like they could be a little wide. I don't know. We'll see when it's actually down. 
Good, ready? Alright, yeah, let's sure, do it. Mine, one, two, yep. three. Perfect. Alright. Now I'm sure she's gonna settle a little bit. That light is kind of an oh yes. So we still gotta do the front too, obviously. Wow. Alright. Let's put the fronts on. She is looking awesome. There she is. All four wheels are on it. Front wheels look sweet. I don't think we're gonna have any problems with any fender issues or anything like that. It's only got 215 on it. Uh, I mean, the guy's car was set up pretty much exactly the same, so don't seem to be a problem. I am super pumped. She looks awesome. There she is. Nice. Hey, what's up everybody? Here we are at Project NSX. We got a slight little problem with the wheels. Went to pull it out of the garage and the damn thing was locked up. So, what was happening is we're hitting the brake rotor right there, we're hitting the caliper. And here's what it did to the inside of the wheel. It started screwing it up like that. I don't know how well you can see that. So, I had to call one of my buddies, Shane Weldon from InChain Designs. and. Uh, have them coach me through this. So, mistake on my part, NS, these uh, wheels came off in NSX. I thought everything would be fine, but I should have still, I don't know why we didn't spin the wheel at least when the car was up in the air and make sure everything was clearing. Um, the guy must have had a, I looked it up, they're, they're calling for a three millimeter spacer, or it looks like I can just grind these fins down on the caliper. So, win some, you lose some. Lesson learned today. So, here's our remedy right here. A little spacer. Shane told me to do it. Don't mind the iPhone 5 from 10 years ago. No big deal. We're not all ballers like Shane Weldon, right? Yeah, you don't mind you don't success? <laughs> yeah, he's at 1% too, so that's kind of bad. Yeah, I want that, I want that iMac, yeah. Too bad we don't, have, we don't have to talk to him too much longer, guys. Don't worry. I want that iMac. All right, welcome back to Project NSX. We got the spacers just now done. We got the, the driver's seat bolted in and everything like that. I still want to take her back out and redo this a little bit. One little plastic piece. Um, so this is going to be my first time sitting in this seat right now. Oh, my God. It sits kind of high, I feel like, but... Hmm. I don't know if there's anything I can do about that. I don't remember the fact the other seat quite sitting this high, but last time we drove this car, she didn't have seats at all. So, so I don't know. I mean, I'm. I, I guess this is right. I guess this is what she should feel like. I just really feel like I'm sitting on top of the car now. Um, we're gonna try to start her up. right now and we'll do a little walk around she's rolling nice now everything's good I mean we already tested the brakes and everything was good I was hoping to get to this earlier in the day but unfortunately you know with work and everything like that you don't really get to work on your own stuff until nighttime it's just in the middle of telling you everything about the seats got them done got the brakes done first time firing the car up and this is gonna be our first drive and hopefully she Hits VTEC and goes over 7200 RPMs. She's looking pretty sweet overall. I uh, still need to get that final detail on her. And we still obviously got to get the other seat in it. Still got the stock exhaust. We're still going to do the sound clips with the stock exhaust and then the aftermarket exhaust. But, uh, and a couple people have been asking about this too. This 911 Turbo. We're going to, we're going to take her out some videos to come all right let's see. Yeah, check engine light too so that's awesome unfortunately time has not been on my side today as far as the Senate sex project so man I don't even know if that camera is gonna sit with this seat hopefully you guys can see that all right this is so weird sitting in the same with the seat 
response seems better. Don't know if it is or why it would be. Whatever. Man, this is bizarre with a C. Feels so weird. Alright, well, you guys will be with me if the wheel falls off, so let's do it. probably get her in for an alignment she is so much easier to drive with the seat though I, I understand that it seems obvious this is great though she's not pulling all over the road we still need to get her up to temperature before I can start cracking all the time so bear with her here